Bergen Riley to serve and start us off. And it's a service error, much to the delight of this crowd in East Lansing. And a similar trend to what we saw from each of these teams in their last match. Both teams had trouble getting off those serves. They just had multiple service errors coming into this game. 17 for Nebraska in their last matchup versus Indiana. And that was close to being a service error for Michigan State, but they catch a break. Set up MacArthur in the middle. Looking for Harper Murray. Aaliyah Moore with so much power, but this is going to be a real test. No touch. Michigan State picks up the point. Smart decision to let that one go. Very close to the line. Have to be decisive in those moments, and the Spartans were. Harper Murray originally was looking at John Cook, asking about maybe a challenge, but this early in the first set. Cook decides it's not wise, and the Spartans give a point right back with a service error of their own. Three plays so far, two different separate occasions of self-inflicted wounds, one for each team. Michigan State had seven service errors in the first set alone against Rutgers last weekend here in East Lansing, but recovered, settled it out later to win that match in four sets. Yosia digs it out. Kayla Holdem looking for the cross-court kill, but can't catch that edge, and we're even at two. The first two points for each team have been identical so far. The first one coming off of a service error of the other team, and the second just barely staying outside and being out. Murray to serve with the student section right behind her. And Liam Moore getting involved, getting back into the action. The Spartans with a block. And Nebraska keeps it alive. MacArthur this time finds the court and picks up the kill. It's good for Michigan State to see that type of block in the middle early. That's something they struggled with at the start of this season. Picking up those blocks at the net. But picking up the intensity early in front 3-2. MacArthur providing that size and speed of the front line for the Spartans. Once again, Michigan State comes through. An athletic play there by Riley to keep it alive. MacArthur can't come through. And we're even. A nice job by Bergen Riley. Reaching up with that right hand to keep it alive. Bergen Riley with the improvisation to keep that point alive and allow for the score. Now the libero, Lexi Rodriguez, serves it over. Cameron Berger to MacArthur. Puts it home once again. Second kill for Amani MacArthur. You see Berger in there. That setter spot, Michigan State flipping to a 6-2 formation throughout. Changing from that 5-1, you'll see both Berger and Bishop in there for the Spartans at setter. And another service error from Michigan State. When you're playing the second best team in the nation, you can't afford giving up three points. Now Merritt Beeson, back to serve. The transfer from Florida gives one right back. Back to back service errors might be because of, honestly, I don't know if you can blame it on the loudness in here because we saw in the previous matchups as well. It's a young Cornhuskers team. We pointed out the four freshman starters on this Nebraska squad. And Leah Johnson talked a little bit about this group and said freshmen are going to make mistakes. That's what freshmen do. She did say that this is a special group of freshmen. And you see the Cornhuskers finding some space there. But she said that her job is to try and take advantage of some of those mistakes that the freshmen are going to make. And we've seen a little bit of that early from Nebraska. Taylor Holdem still looking for that first kill. An attack error. And Nebraska jumps in front. 
So much aggression from Hold'em on there, just unable to keep it in. Randy Showboy, the freshman from Raleigh, North Carolina. Garcia with a nice dig. Murray trying to tap it over. Good set to Hold'em, who does come through with her first kill. Massive time for that kill from Hold'em, trying to shift the momentum to the Spartans. Now Julia Bishop back in to serve. Swain does a nice job to keep it alive for Michigan State, but Rodriguez keeps it for Nebraska as well. Just a little too much on it. The attack error gives it back to Michigan State. There's another look from Jalen Swain. That volley showing Swain's heart. Just going all the way on the back heels, able to get it within inches. Had to use all of that 5-4 frame to keep it up in the air. Denial by Taylor Holdem. The Spartans are excited right now. You can see the hype of their front line. Evie Duzeman celebrating after the joint block with Holdem. Michigan State on a 3-0 scoring run. Trying to build an advantage in this first set. But right back at him, Andy Jackson picks up the kill. Kennedy Orr enters to serve. Kennedy Orr, not a freshman, but when she was coming in, another highly ranked recruit, the number one overall prospect of her class. And an ace right off the bench. Into the match, picks up the ace. Kennedy Orr, one of the oldest players on this team. There's no seniors on this roster for Nebraska. Something you almost never see for a team that's at the top of the country. Bishop looking for Aaliyah Moore. Another nice job to keep it alive. Moore again, unable to get it down. Good opportunity for Nebraska. Murray picks it up. Yosia tried to dive, trying to lay it all out there. Michigan State's 3-0 run is countered by a 3-0 run from the Cornhuskers. Nebraska just tooling the block, putting in an area that the Spartans couldn't reach. Riley sent it up for Murray. Tried to play that line and couldn't catch it. Couple of attack errors, neither team hitting particularly well to this point in set number one. And with the defense of Nebraska, as Brian mentioned, towards the top in the country at number two in opponent hitting percentage, that's expected, but the Michigan State defensive effort here has been strong. Another block up front, Michigan State. Picking up another point. Michigan State putting on a show for the home crowd right now. Almost looks like the Breslin is a beehive because it is buzzing. Powerful serve from Hold'em and it's put on a tee for Duzema to finish it off. Evie Duzmo has been active around that front line. Had the block assist with Hold'em earlier. Now, just laying on a kill of her own. Yosia with a dig. And Aaliyah Moore with authority. A 4-0 scoring run for Michigan State. Leah Moore came over with Coach Leah Johnson. She was all Nebraska, 25-9.
to finish it off. Michigan State putting up a much better fight through this first set. Yosia with a spectacular dig. But Murray comes through. The showmanship throughout this first set has been out of this world, coming an inch away from the Jumbotron. The brand new Jumbotron here at the Breslin Center. Almost catching its first volleyball. Quite a few off of last year's. Oldham taps it over. You see it there again, so good at reading the opponent hitters, Choboy, using their body to keep it up. Yosia looking for the back corner, just too much on it. Yosia and Showboy putting on a battle across the court, both them flying around. Right out of the timeout. Nebraska with a couple of quick points to cut the deficit to one. And right away. Another service error. That's already the third Nebraska service error. Michigan State with a pair of their own. Just have to clean it up on the serves. Riley back setting for Murray again. Spartans up front, continuing to flex their muscles. They are feeling themselves right now. You see the energy throughout the entire team. Duzuma once again to serve. She's been strong for the Spartans in this first set. Rodriguez with the dig. Arthur couldn't get to it. Mishandled that set from Julia Bishop. Just slightly misjudged the distance, could see her trying to reach out with both hands. Just was unable to get the contact she needed to get back over the net. Had another look there at that dig from Rodriguez. Two-time All-American for Nebraska. Murray finds the net. Gotta say, Joe, this is the second year at the Breslin Center, full time for Michigan State Volleyball. This might be the best atmosphere they've had here. Opening up the top row, so many people who want to be here for this premier matchup against the second best team in the nation. Berger gets it up to Grace Kelly. Easton has it popped up, and the Spartans put it down. Morgan Riley was calling for an illegal attack. The officials see differently. Michigan State extends the lead. Another look at that one, just reaching over the net. Powerful on the far side. Lindsey Krause. Nebraska on the season enters today hitting 300. They're even, they're at zero on the hitting percentage so far in this first set. The defense of both teams has been spectacular so far. Seems like no one's really getting too many hits in a row. Yosia just couldn't get to it. Barrett Beeson comes through. about this Cornhusker team is they are resilient. In that last matchup versus Indiana, they dropped the first set and were close to dropping the second, but they bounced back with three straight wins to finish up three and one. They're still not out of this first set. Trying to fight on back. Grace Kelly comes through on the near side to pick up the kill. Kelly proving why they slot her into that starting lineup today. She can play. Talked with Grace Kelly this week and asked her about that instant impact role that she seems to have, she hopes that's her identity, she said. That when she walks on the floor, 
The opposing team has to know where 16 is at all times. Another Michigan service State there. service there. Matt Beeson. Serve it away. Already Big Ten Player of the Week a couple of times on the year. Meredith O'Gorman for Michigan State. The talented sophomore picks up her first kill of night. O'Gorman with the power behind that kill. Sending it straight over to Harper Murray. that one. Taylor Holdem off the blockers and down. Michigan State within striking distance. It's set one. Holdem starting to find a groove. Just could not really get the right angle to start off, but now you can see tooling the block and sending it out. Riley, looking for Krause. Oldham tried to tap it over and got the touch. Everything going Michigan State's way right now. And a five point advantage leads to another Nebraska timeout. The Breslin Center is rocking, trying to put Michigan State with a one set advantage. Michigan State trying to push a 3-0 scoring run to four coming out of the break. After the first timeout, Nebraska responded immediately. Oldham couldn't get to it, a miscommunication from the Spartans. And Nebraska stops the drought. Have to shake that one off, went after the ball with one hand, unable to get the power needed for a kill. Lenny Chilboy comes back in to serve. Chilboy, one of those strong freshmen that we have highlighted throughout this matchup. The number one libero recruit coming in. Rodriguez keeps it alive. Beesom can't catch that line. No touch. Michigan State's advantage is back to five. Swain's thankful that she did not reach that one in time. And if going looked, out. That looked close at the net. Either way, a break for Michigan State. Arthur Murray delivers. Cool, calm, and collected under pressure from the freshman. your team has so much youth, you would expect a lot more mistakes under pressure such as this, but they've been, as you said, cool, calm, and collected. Really understanding that this is very early in the matchup, still the first set, plenty of time left in this match. Aliyah Moore. Right back to Murray, right up at the net. Oldham can't get it through that defense. Murray in on that one again. She is taking over the latter part of this first set. And Leah Johnson will take a timeout herself. In year two at the helm of this Michigan State program. Spartans won three of their first four in Big Ten play. And a service error right out of the timeout will certainly help this crowd get back into it. Michigan State has to be happy with that one. We've talked about the youth on both these teams so far, Zach, but the youth of Leah Johnson, only her sophomore season as the coach of this team. Had a good run at Illinois State before heading to East Lansing. Yeah. 
Merritt Beeson flying in to pick up the kill. Beeson, the transfer from the University of Florida, led the team in so many statistics. He just continued that stellar play with the Cornhuskers. Wonderful dig by Rodriguez, and Yosia tries to match it, but Holdem can't get to it. And here comes Nebraska. First set turning into a nail biter. Morgan Riley. Sioux Falls, South Dakota native. Number one setter recruit in the country. She sets up Beeson there. The Spartan lead cuts a one in this first set, and Leah Johnson, will, but they seem to be having fun with it. I might take a quick stop, see if I can take some ankles while wearing a suit, see how the basketball skills go today. Ah, sometimes you have to. But coming out of the timeout, Nebraska on a 3-0 scoring run, trying to steal set number one from Michigan State. The Spartans look like they had it. Nebraska. Not out of it yet. Grace Kelly coming right at us here. Aaron Beeson couldn't get to it in time. And the Spartans pick up the point and just two away. They're given the full courtside experience here, Zach. Players oh, yeah. running over to us, a ball landing right in front of us. But you didn't catch it. I know I should have. I didn't want to have it be a case of when you grab the ball at the ballpark when it's still in play. That's fair. You could have caught it off the table, though. I'll be working on my hands the next few weeks, don't worry. Have to. Harper Murray taps it over another diving dig by Aaliyah Moore. Kelly trying to go around the pin and can't keep it in and over. Nebraska refusing to let the Spartans get some separation. Bodies colliding on the Spartans' end. Kelly tries to tap it over, couldn't get it. Lockers there in front in full force. Beeson stuffed, but it can't stay in. Off the blockers and down. And just like that, we're even. First to take two straight. The Big Ten matchup always leads to some theatrics, and that's no different today. It's just been back and forth this entire first set. This is a set that Michigan State really needs. They want a shot to pull the upset. Aliyah Moore can't get it through the blockers. And it's set point for Nebraska. Nebraska's going to be really happy if they can finish this off. Need to avoid any errors right here. Spartans had a pretty commanding lead at a few points in this first set. Breslin getting loud. Crowd to its feet. Grace Kelly can't get it through. Merritt Beeson delivers. And Nebraska storms back to take set one. Just the resilience that we... Nebraska recovered late in that to get all the way to a 154 hitting percentage. They're midway through that set. They were in the negatives. Michigan State picks up the first point of set two. Strong start for the Spartans. Need to continue the momentum. When they let their foot off the gas is when the Cornhuskers were able to come back in that first set. And they can't do that in the second one. Grace Kelly trying to make an impact on that far side. Off the pin, another for the Spartans. Very reminiscent of the last set, except this time you have to think the Spartans are earning these points a bit more. There was an error on that last point. So it might be a bit more similar to the first set than I originally thought. An early lead for Michigan State. Oh, 
Harper Murray. Savvy move from the freshman. Taps it over. Picks up the point to the Huskers. Murray's vertical is a thing of beauty to watch. Just gets so high up in the air. There's a reason that she was the Gatorade National Player of the Year last year. Pure athleticism off the charts. They'll go right back to her. Duzema. Right in the middle and drops it down. Effie Duzema has been putting on a show at that front line, turning on her heel, just finding the soft spot in the defense. Third kill for Duzema. Now she'll head to the service line. The service error. Those self-inflicted wounds coming back yet again. Five service errors for Nebraska, four for Michigan State. The stats across the board, nearly identical. These two teams are playing very tight. Hold them. Athletic play to keep that alive. Free ball. Riley to Alec, and she's stuffed by MacArthur. MacArthur can just turn into a brick wall when she wants to, allowing no one to get by. Monty MacArthur has made such a big impact for this Michigan State squad. After transferring in from Charlotte. She was all conference with the 49ers. She's made her presence felt, Nice Lansing. Yosia this time will go to Grace Kelly. Got the touch and the kill. Perfect angle for the Spartans there. Just didn't really allow Nebraska to even have a second opportunity at it. When the ball is going over Harper Murray, you know that it's just kind of unreachable. Eric Beeson, the powerful attack. Double contact on the Spartans. There's a lot of speed on that attack from the Cornhuskers, and the Spartans unable to handle it. Just got a little bit ahead of themselves there. Lexi Rodriguez with an ace. The second ace for Nebraska in the match. They're back within one. We've seen that happen a few times today. Just the ball striking at an awkward angle, one-handed, not the recipe for success. Rodriguez looking to repeat the feat. But the Spartans able to dig this one out, but O'Gorman can't get it through. Beeson and Andy Jackson combining to shut that one down and even up the score in the second set. Feels as if every player on this team is ranked number one at their position coming in this year. She was the number one middle blocker recruit. And Rodriguez sails the serve and it's back to Michigan State. That freshman class had the number one setter, the number one libero, the number one middle blocker, the number one outside hitter and the number three outside here. <laughs> They're just collecting the top of the top, making sure that this will be a perennial powerhouse. Swain with the dig. Taylor Holdem off the blockers and down. Michigan State not shying away. Coach Leah Johnson has to love the fire the Spartans are showing so far. It's easy to just roll over after losing a first close set, but they have been here the entire second set. Beeson can't get it through, but Nebraska keeps it up. Second drive from Beeson is the charm. She picks it up. Two teams just matching up so fluidly together. 
neither of them really taking a dominant stance at any point. Holdum with another one. That's her fifth. Spartan advantage back to two. The Spartans are really attacking that front line. They seem to have found an angle that they want to utilize. The Spartan freshman doesn't want all the hype on the freshman in red. Michigan State has gone to Taylor Holdem again and again and again, and she has delivered. This time, it's not the freshman, it's the sophomore, Evie Duzema. And similar to that first set, Michigan State building an advantage in the early part of the set. Let's see if they can hang on to this one. Berger looking for Hold'em. So tough to get it through that front line on both sides. The blocks have been there each way. This time, it's Jackson and Riley. The Spartans were attacking that area for a little bit. Nebraska made sure to shut it down. Berger goes back to Duzema. She looks in the huddle and said, it worked. Don't know if that was intentional or not. Looked like she almost whipped. But you know, it only hurts you if it doesn't work. Sometimes the best players are the ones you didn't mean to make. Back to Harper Murray and Aaliyah Moore with the rejection. And here comes the Cornhusker timeout. Michigan State once again. With Hanging on with the best of the best. That in itself is a win. Leah Johnson and her crew not interested in moral victories, though. They're looking for some concrete Ws. And with a now five-point advantage in this second set, they're hanging around. They sure are. And an attack error. The Spartans starting to pull away. It's six. This is where it goes back to what we talked about earlier. Nebraska, even when they're under this type of pressure earlier in the first set, they've been able to remain calm and see how they do here. And Bishop with a service error that stops the 4-0 scoring run. Cornhuskers fought back in set one. Can they fight back in set two? Kennedy Orr to serve. Bishop just taps it over. Good opportunity here for Nebraska. They go to Beeson. What a nice job. Keep it from getting through. Murray finds the touch. When in doubt, 27 in red is a pretty good place to go. Seems she's been ready this entire matchup. Harper Murray is coming through for her team in big ways every time she's called upon. Candy Orr, two-time Gatorade Player of the Year in high school out in Minnesota. Taylor Holdem can't find a blocker. Couple of quick Cornhusker points. And the Spartan lead has been cut down to three. Oldham trying to use the cross to get the defense on their heels, but just unable to keep it in. The Cornhuskers couldn't take advantage. They are adamant about a touch. And now we're going to get a check. John Cook pulls out the challenge card. They'll take a look at it. 
would be a big point in this second set. Spartans put it up on a tee. There's some trouble receiving that serve. And Nebraska, as it seems, unable to take advantage. But usually when you see everybody that adamant about a touch, they've got a point. We'll have to see how things go. Look at the challenge rules here. It is the first challenge being utilized by either side. Get a look right there. Couldn't tell from that angle. That one's very tough to tell. For Nebraska fans, they should be feeling pretty good because last time, as I say that, I jinxed them right away. That point will be awarded to the Spartans in the last matchup versus Indiana. They were able to win two separate challenges, or three challenges, in a span of four or five points. That one didn't take very long. A quick confirmation in Michigan State. Takes that big point. In the second set, they've got control of the serve and a four-point advantage. Hold them with that sinking serve that's been so effective. And another attack error from Harper Murray. That one might have been a case of trying to get it all back in one play. Have to remember there's a long, sustained movement to come back. Harper Murray entered hitting 294. Tonight, hitting 105. Freshman does have six kills. And hold them, another ace. Michigan State responds to the Nebraska 3-0 run with a run of their own. It seems that the Spartans have answered the question of whether that first set loss would deflate them. It seems the answer is no. Two ways to come out after a loss in a set like that. Either come out flat or you come out hot. And Michigan State has come out firing. Yosea looking for Aliyah Moore, trying to keep it in. Couldn't get it around the pin. A little too much on that set. And the serve goes back to Nebraska. It's just a tough angle for Moore to even try. Really would have had to get perfect contact if she wanted to get that over. Bergen Riley. Bishop keeps it alive. Back to Moore. Now Michigan State will get a chance to reset. And Grace Kelly hits it through, dissecting that Cornhusker front line. Picking up her sixth kill. Adding on Moore to the lead. Able to find the opening. Strike it with perfection. Duzuma with a near ace. Some trouble on that reception. And Taylor Holdem from the back with authority. The Spartans have the second best team in the country on their heels. Let's see how Nebraska responds. Riley looking for Beeson and can't get it. Nebraska has dropped back down to a .05 hitting percentage now. Michigan State all the way up to .158. Timeout, Nebraska. It's night two. Trying to even things at a set apiece. This building is having some fun on a Friday night. Riley looking for Harper Murray. Free ball. Murray again. Able to get it through without a touch. Outstanding dig from Rodriguez. And it leads to a kill. That's why Lexi Rodriguez is a two-time All-American. 
Rodriguez only had an inch margin of error, and she was able to come through. Perfect dig, allowing for the point. Murray has had some trouble tonight with the serves, and it comes back to Viter again. That is going to be the seventh service error of the night for Nebraska so far. Michigan State sitting at five as well. Now Cameron Berger. Top 100 recruit entering the season, and she finds a service error. Just back-to-back -back service errors. Both teams kind of negating the other one's errors. Michigan State still with some cushion in this second set. Arthur couldn't get it through. The Spartans able to keep it alive. Trying to get back in the system here. They won't really have to. Start the touch is challenge. called and Leah Johnson is quickly up. And they'll take a look at it. The crowd was fired up. Got you another look at but from our angle, that looked like it was a fair challenge call. Could go either way. Second challenge of this second set. One per side. Officials will take a look at it. Barbara Savonic over there at the monitor. It looked like MacArthur might have gotten a piece of that. Does the ball change direction? It looks like her fingers go back. I believe you can I see I think a few that's of them. a touch. From that angle. I don't, yeah, from that angle, I think it's gotta be hard to overturn it because they need substantial evidence to overturn it as well. Ball on the floor was a touch and a point for Nebraska. First challenge by Nebraska was unsuccessful. Leah Johnson trying to win this challenge. From the looks of it, I don't know that they'll see so. We're both in agreement, so that might mean that it goes the other way. That tends to be how it works sometimes. They do give it to Michigan State. Looks like you're right, Zach. If both of us are agreeing, we're, we're in the wrong. Let's see this angle here. And that angle it looks like MacArthur does get the fingers out of the way. Does. But it's really close. They have a lot of different angles that they can look at over there. The officials do give the points to Michigan State. Just like that, the Spartans back with an eight point advantage in the second set. Trying to get to set three at a set apiece. And now if you're Nebraska, you're really glad you won that first set coming back. Otherwise, it would be trouble for the second ranked team in the country. There's another ace for Michigan State. One of the best serving teams in the country. Top 40 in the nation in aces adding to it tonight. One of the courtside fans getting the full Breslin experience. Getting up close and personal with the players. This time, the Huskers with clean reception. Swain keeps it alive. Hold them. Catches the corner. The Spartans are fired up. Hold them with seven kills to pace Michigan State. And the Spartans are three points away from taking set two. The Spartans are just feeding off of the energy that's permeating in this arena. Riley. The strong attack there on the near side from Krause, and she'll pick up the kill. 
Big point for Nebraska as they start to try to mount the comeback. They're able to do it in the first set. A little bit less margin of error now as Michigan State's only one point away from match point or set point. Oldham, once again, finding her groove on that far side, and the Spartans have set point. The Spartans are feeling energized right now. The problems Holdem was facing in the first set, not able to get the correct angles, have just been resolved now. Perfectly laying it up and getting the kill. Yosia. With a service error that'll keep it alive, this place was ready to explode. Nebraska has to be happy after that one. Still a long way to go for the Cornhuskers in this second set, but they're trying to get some momentum leading into set three. Berger to hold him again. Rodriguez keeps it alive. Once again, beautiful motion. Andy Jackson with the kill. Still an eight-point lead for the Spartans. When you're playing against a premier program such as Nebraska, those eight points don't seem as large as you'd want. The crowd still to its feet. Macy Bosiger. Hold them looking for some space, but Beeson digs it out. Harper with an attack error and a dominant set two for Michigan State. One set apiece as we head to the third. The Spartans have played better than Nebraska tonight, at least through the first two sets. They really have. As you mentioned, they kind of stole that first one away. Michigan State had a pretty large lead at multiple points, just were unable to finish. Finish off that second one. Let's see what happens in the third. Grace Kelly sails that attack off the top of the fingertips. And the first point of this third set goes to Nebraska. Yosia does a nice job to keep it alive, but the Spartans can't get it over. Back to back, quick points for Nebraska to open set three. It's a strong response to dropping that second set. This is the second best team in the country still. Plenty of fight left in them. Without a doubt, this one a long way from over. Bishop, looking for Kelly again. Oldham with a nice dig. Kelly, sending it over. Murray, Yosia can't keep it alive for long. Three quick points for Nebraska. Michigan State needs to respond soon or the Cornhuskers are gonna run away with this third set. Bit of an unexpected start to this third set. I personally thought the Spartans would be riding the wave at the end of the last one, but it seems that Nebraska has instead used that as a bit of fire to come in this third set. Those five minutes between taking away some of that Michigan State momentum. Grace Kelly looking for the back corner, but Showboy keeps it alive. Murray off the touch, four straight for Nebraska. And the energy starting to slow down in this building just a little bit. Throughout those first two sets, the Spartans were really riding just the energy throughout this entire space. As you mentioned, it's slowing down, so have the Spartans. And a near ace. And Nebraska is locked in right now. Five straight to start the third set, and a quick Michigan State timeout. Timing for firework right now. Let's see if these teams can show them what they're worth. 
can always count on you for a couple of puns to broadcast. <laughs> and Michigan State comes out of the timeout. And gets the crowd back into it. During the action, picking up the kill, trying to cut into this deficit. Bit different than the first two sets. Michigan State built early advantages throughout both sets. Couldn't finish off set one, cruised in set two. Now trying to play from behind in set three. The Grace Kelly. Double contact there from Bishop. Another unforced error for Michigan State in this third set. You mentioned it a second ago, but the fact that Michigan State was able to build those early leads was paramount to their success. They just have not been able to do it so far in this third set. And an ace from Harper Murray adds to it. What's tough is when you get in a deficit such as this to begin a set after two hard fought sets, it's really easy to get in your own head. You need to keep it clear, you need to stay collected, and need to continue the fight. Service error gives the Spartans a point. There's a long way to go in this set. But this isn't going to be a three-set match. There's still more after this. So even if Michigan State does drop this set after the early push from Nebraska, there's still more. They still need to be able to lock back in and find themselves some sort of momentum to continue throughout this match. And an ace will help. Cameron Berger enters into the match and picks up a quick ace. An ace needed at that time. Probably couldn't have come at any time better unless it was Really set point. Spartans looking for a run, trying to cut into the deficit. Just over the top and out of the reach of the Spartans. Krause with a much needed kill. Whenever the Spartans start to mount some type of comeback, the Nebraska Cornhuskers just realize what they have to do to stop it. And they've executed so far. And Nebraska, once again surgical right now in this third set, finding their way through. They've come in this third set with a game plan. They followed it to a T so far. Big reason why they have that six point lead. Rodriguez again to serve. Holdem pops it up. MacArthur in the middle. Now they'll go to Grace Kelly. Harper Murray keeping it alive. Back and forth it goes. Grace Kelly sending it over. Krause on the outside, catches that line. And it is 10 to 3, Nebraska, in this third set. That'll lead to another Michigan State timeout. All Nebraska in set three. Rodriguez feeling good right now, and she'll head to the service line. A seven point advantage in this third set. Last year, she wasn't just all Big Ten first team. She was unanimous all Big Ten first team. That's what you'd expect from someone of Rodriguez's caliber. Grace Kelly with another attack error. Struggling to find her rhythm in this third set. Michigan State really just needs to get their energy back up. A big reason they were able to stand strong when they were in a deficit earlier was the energy never wavered. Right now, it's wavering. Another miscommunication for Michigan State leads to a good opportunity for Nebraska. Huskers unable to convert. MacArthur couldn't get it through. Andy Jackson sails on that attack. Michigan State picks up the point. Sail right over, close to MacArthur. Unable to get contact.
Swain gives it right back with a service error. That's already the eighth for Michigan State. Matches the eight service errors for Nebraska. And Nebraska with another ace. Michigan State just needs to settle down right now. Everything has been sporadic throughout this third set, it has seemed. But that's also in part to this being the number two ranked team in the nation. The Huskers have blitzed the Spartans out of the break in set three. Michigan State looking to calm down and gain some sort of momentum, but it's all Huskers in this third set. 10-point lead now. Stern get pretty hard to climb back from. If Michigan State wants to make a comeback, it's going to need to be soon. Leah Johnson already used both timeouts in this third set. Jackson looking for Jackson, but a denial by Taylor Holdem. Front line is where Michigan State had success earlier in this match, and now they're starting to come back to utilizing that front line. Yosia trying to give Michigan State a bit of a run. Nearly an ace. Either way, a free ball will give the Spartans a chance. Holdem can't convert. Another Michigan State attack error continuing to struggle here in this third set. It's another one of those crosses just unable to keep it in. Sailing too far past and going out. This time Holdem finds that rhythm. Holdem says, okay, the cross didn't work. Might as well send a line drive right down into the weak spot. Evy Duzeman, one of those players who just brings the energy consistently. Her being back out there for the Spartans is huge. Murray, once again, just gets the touch and picks up the kill. That's kill number 10 for the Ann Arbor native. Homecoming weekend for her. Tonight here in East Lansing and then tomorrow in Ann Arbor to take on the Wolverines. Going back to Hold'em and Taylor Hold'em delivering again. Michigan State, when they've been in trouble all year long, they went to the freshman. Hold'em has really just been that person that they can call on when they need either a kill, need a dig. She has just been all around so successful on this team. Three consecutive games of double-doubles coming into this right now, sitting at 10 kills as well as 10 digs for her fourth consecutive match. This time a block up front. The Spartans fired up, bringing some energy. Still a long way to go to get back into set three, but as we mentioned before, trying to build some momentum towards set four because there's going to be another one. Is that minimum a four-set match? Heavy Duzeman, I have to say again, has been so important to the energy of this team. Service error once again for Michigan State. Bergen Riley to serve. Tap over the top. A nice dig by Riley. Yosia looking for Aaliyah Moore. The Spartans very quickly and a little confused about no touch there. And Leah Johnson's going to use the challenge. Duzman seemed very confident immediately calling for that. 
The entire Spartan side looked a little confused, immediately expecting the touch. Let's see if we can get a look. Yeah, they just showed it here. The Breslin Center, I think this one's gonna be overturned. Yeah, that one seems pretty clear. You can see just all the fingers bend back. The ball change a little bit of direction. But we were wrong last time, so we'll see. That's the angle they showed here in the arena, and the crowd certainly thought so, but the crowd tends to see things a certain way more often than not. You do have to keep in mind, this is the Spartans' hometown, hometown crowd as well. I imagine they're gonna be pulling for them a little bit more. They do rule the touch, Michigan State. Picks up the point. Both challenges successful to this point by Leah Johnson. And Evie Duzema. The serve for Michigan State. Still trying to cut into a big third set deficit. It's 17-9. Nebraska in control. Beeson just kept alive, but long enough for Harper Murray to slam home kill number 11. Murray attacking like a shark to blood, saw the opening in the defense, and just sent it right there for the kill. Now Murray will serve. Service error, just a little too strong. Spartans hoping to hang around as long as they can, build some momentum towards set four and attack. Nebraska will use the timeout. Eighteen ten. The score in this third set, Nebraska finding its groove a little bit in set three. Been completely different than the first two sets that we witnessed tonight. For both those first two started out with Michigan State building a lead. But this third one has been all Nebraska. And we've talked about the hitting percentage for Nebraska. There's Michigan State with another service there. 154 in set one. In the negatives, negative 103 in set two, all the way up to 333 here in set three. Really tells the tale of tonight so far. Just they lost that second one, that first one was close, and now this third one, they've blown the doors off the barn. And they'll keep it going with an ace. It's 20 to 10, Nebraska in the third set. The energy slowing down a little bit here at the Breslin. Holdem. Looking for Jackson in front. Michigan State able to keep it up. Kelly. Murray to send it over. And Michigan State waiting for it at the net. Picking up the point. Back to that front line. Early, earlier it was Duzma. Right now it's MacArthur making plays for the Spartans. Swain will serve. Sophomore played every set as a freshman a year ago. Just short of that number here in year two. Jackson had that one come off the side of her hand. Sailed way right. With volleyball, if you change the angle you hit it by just a few degrees, it can send it flying out and be the difference between a kill and a point for the other team. Beeson had it dug out, but it's right back to the Huskers. Another powerful attack, but the Spartans survive it. Oldham slowed it down a little bit. Waiting for it on the other side. Mayor Beeson again continuing to contribute. Beeson with eight kills. The 
Now Beeson to serve. Riley to Beeson again, and Yosia. Right up at the net, Riley keeps it up. Riley back set, Jackson kill. So smooth from the Cornhuskers, and the advantage is 10 in set three. They've returned to looking like the second best team in the nation during this set. As you said, smooth, they've been fluid. They have just been feeling it this set. Merritt Beeson. To the service there. Much to the delight of that Michigan State student section right behind him. Gives the Spartans some hope, still down nine. Nebraska only three away from capturing the set. Yosea, the former Texas Longhorn. Such a stable presence for this Michigan State squad the last two years. Oldham, can't get it past Murray. Swain, unable to keep it clean. Just like that, Cornhuskers two points away. The Spartans have just not been able to find a rhythm during this set. Berger to hold him. Riley dumps it over. The freshman getting in on the action. And it's set point for Nebraska. Riley pulling a trick out of her sleeve. A little bit of misdirection on that one. Put the defense on their heels and allowed for the kill. The red shirts. This crowd standing as Nebraska tries to put a bow on set three. They'll have to wait just a little longer to do so. That's one, now 11 to go for the Spartans if they hope for a comeback here. It's going to be real tough to come back in this third set. Momentum's such a big thing. Across for Murray. Swain. For Hold'em. And the Spartans slam home another. 24-15. This is similar to what we saw at the end of that second set from Nebraska. A few points, get some rhythm going right before the end of the set. Even though you don't take it, it can help you come out better in the next set. That's what Michigan State's hoping to do here. It is a best to three, not best to two. Still plenty of time for the Spartans in this match. Nebraska able to pick up another and take this set. The Spartans fought tough in sets one and two. Tried to hang around in set three. And the service error won't help. Looking for a fast start for Michigan State. Bishop just a little too much air under it. Pretty much the exact opposite way they would like to start that fourth set. Still plenty of this set left to play. Harper Murray has struggled a little bit serving tonight, but does have an ace in that last set. Almost another there, and she will get another. Yosia's reception goes out, and just like that, once again, two quick points for Nebraska. Michigan State was able to stay so close because while they did have some service errors, Nebraska had them had them even more. That's the only way to put it. But now, after that first play of this set, Michigan State is sitting at 11 service errors to 10 for Nebraska. 
Nebraska has locked back in from the service line. A lot of those service errors coming in the first two sets. Out of system here. Nebraska trying to get back set. Holdem looking to tap it over. Riley to Murray. Leah Moore had it right back into her face. And Nebraska in control again. Becca Alec just showing that swagger after. Able to get vertical and just stuff it. Murray digs out the attack from Moore. Yosia couldn't get to it on the dive. And just like that third set, Nebraska dominant to start. The, per the team who scores first has been really telling throughout these sets so far. Michigan State just needs to make sure that this deficit does not get unclimbable out of. In a spot that the Spartans needed a point in a big way, it's a service error that gives it to them. And a chance to respond. Michigan State had multiple 3-0 or more scoring runs in those first two sets. Not a single one in set three. They could sure use one right here. They use one heavily here. Get all tied up. Well, them has been really good with the serves today. Krause. Hold him from the back. Just a little too far. And another attack error. Michigan State hitting down around the 120s. Nebraska is also in the 120s in hitting percentage. But Michigan State starting to falter a little bit in these second two sets. They need a jolt as Bishop with an illegal attack. And it's 6-1, Nebraska. Both teams might be sitting around 120 right now for the hitting percentage, but you have to keep in mind that first set, Nebraska was in the negative. Last two sets, they have just been hitting much more consistently. Service error, keeping Michigan State in it. The only two points of this set for Michigan State have been off of Nebraska service error. not a formula to win sets. Michigan State needs to get some points of their own on the board that they cause. Riley looking for Krause. Dug out by Duzema. And another good shot. Beeson gets it off the blockers and out. It's 7-2. This is what Nebraska does so well. They're so talented that when they get in a rhythm, you can't stop them. You really can't. You need to try throwing them off that rhythm, get them off balance, and change the momentum to your side. It's going to be really exciting in a couple of weeks when the Cornhuskers take on the Badgers of Wisconsin. Top two teams in the country going at it. One Big Ten Network, October 15th. Nebraska trying to finish off Michigan State with another dominant start to set four. Aaliyah Moore couldn't get it all the way down. Now Michigan State picks up the point. Rousey is a little too close to that net. Still a chance for Michigan State. They need to start building up a little bit of momentum on their end. Get the crowd back into this. The Spartans go on a run. This crowd's going to get going. They need one soon. Don't want to fall too far behind. Team that's this talented. Once again. This time it's Jackson coming through. Off that movement when they can get her. Moving towards the far side. The back set from Riley has been there and the kill has come almost every time when Jackson's gotten in that rhythm. Seems like a surefire kill every time it's set up for them. 
Andy Jackson up to five kills now, and another ace for the Cornhuskers. That just had to be pure miscommunication, no other way to put it. Michigan State with a timeout, it's 10-3 Nebraska in set four from East Lansing. Lindsey Krause with back-to-back -back aces. This one coming out of the timeout. And it's 11-3. But back-to-back -back aces, then it's followed by the service error and Michigan State able to pick up the point. It's that good old law of averages coming back into play here. You get two, you drop one. Michigan State, as it seems that they've done a few different times, giving it right back. Yeah, that is now their 12th service error. They keep getting slight chances to just take the opportunity and run with it. They've just been stagnant. They have not been able to get momentum going at all since the end of that third set, or beginning of that third set, honestly. Kennedy Orr. Serves it over, diving into that Spartan side of Michigan State. Picking up the kill, Taylor Holdem. Coming back to hold them in a moment of need. Not too shocking. She's always there when the Spartans need her. And that is now her 13th kill of the match. You mentioned it earlier, but another double-double for her, her fourth straight. Now at 13 kills and 11 digs. And another Michigan State service error. That's their 13th. The momentum killer. We've mentioned it plenty of times throughout this match. You can't give up the opportunity that easily. Duzema stuffed at the net. Becca Alec with a denial. You mentioned earlier that when Nebraska gets on a roll, they're hard to stop. They're having a little bit of the snowball effect happen right now where they're just continuously gaining size and momentum. Taylor Holdem, the powerful attack, and another. And this time finds that back corner. Pinpoint accuracy from the freshman. Goal number 14 for Holdem. Been a bright spot throughout this matchup. Set up for Alec in the middle. Delivering her first kill. Makes it 15-6 Nebraska. Nebraska coming back to the pedigree that they've developed that has made them the top two team in the nation. Constantly staying calm under pressure and they don't really turn it over onto them. Aliyah Moore can't get it past. Alec is feeling it. The Huskers shutting it down in this fourth set. It's 16-6. Last few minutes, feel like we've heard Alec's name a ton. Has really come through for this team, trying to close out what they're hoping will be the final set. Murray with another serve. Taylor Holdem trying to go across, unable to find it. And another Michigan State and Lincoln. A couple other matchups at the bottom. Wisconsin, big time matchup coming up. October 21st. Schedule loaded with Big Ten opponents. Michigan State, another violation. Crossing that net. 18-6. 
4-0 scoring run for the Cornhuskers. Taylor holds him. Just picks up the deflection. Got a feeling Berg and Riley might have watched The Matrix last night with that dodge. Going along with the Kembe Mutombo finger wag after. Yeah, they didn't think there was a touch, but in this situation, definitely not worth a challenge for Nebraska. Rodriguez chasing it all the way back. And the Cornhuskers find a way. A near ace, and instead it's a kill for Nebraska. Flipping the script on the Spartans, diving around. Nebraska fighting for every point, even with the lead. Krause with a bit of a shrug after that one. Found the opening and straight down. Business as usual for this team, it would seem. Bishop with the set, Nevi Duzema picks up another kill. She's had a strong match for Michigan State. Three digs, three blocks, five kills now. Real high hitting percentage for her as well, 444. Very efficient night There's for the part, Spartan sophomore. Part that doesn't even show up on the stat sheet, the energy she has brought this team. That one will show up on the stat sheet as a service error. The Spartans 14th. And Nebraska just five points away from a road victory. All comes back to that first set. Michigan State was unable to pick it up. Could have changed the entire narrative of this match. Aliyah Moore. Another attack error for Michigan State. The Spartans hitting percentage has continued to go down throughout the match as Nebraska's highly touted defense has settled in. There's a reason Nebraska was number one last year and why they're one of the top defensive programs again. Merritt Beeson on the serve. Aliyah Moore sending it over. Riley looking for Jackson again. You see that movement, you see that rhythm, and you're going to see a kill from Andy Jackson. Almost seems choreographed seeing the movements throughout this team. He's able to place it perfectly on some of these, some of these kills. Silky smooth from the team in red in these last two sets. But a service error keeps it alive for Michigan State. I want to know how many jinxes you and me have caused tonight, Zach. It seems like every time we start a talk of a player, we get another service error or attacking error instead. That's how it goes sometimes. Which is how it is. Cameron Berger will serve for Michigan State. Garcia dug it out, sent it right back to Nebraska. Once again, like clockwork, Riley Jackson, Point, Nebraska. It's here her name consistently throughout this has really just showed out in this final set. Still not over, but with the way it's going, I have to imagine. There is the service there. We'll go back to Michigan State. The man trying to keep this crowd in it. But well, the Spartans in need of a miracle here as Nebraska effortless in these second two sets. Just so smooth. Definitely not impossible, just very, very close. Match point upcoming. That was Micaiah Clayton. First time we've seen Clayton. The freshman out of Lee Summit, Missouri, came in with that serve. And now we'll exit the Nebraska fans to their feet. Kennedy Orr to serve on match point. Berger. Looking for a hold them, stuffed, but out. And Michigan State lives to see another serve. You could hear throughout the arena just a little second, last second surge of energy coming from the fans. Plenty of red in the crowd now. Cornhuskers travel well. 
That they do, they always do, no matter the sport. Nebraska, one of the best fan bases in the country. Yosia. Riley to Harper Murray with an exclamation point. Nebraska takes set four and wins this one three sets to one in East Lansing. Maria Kiasi, Irani Ha Maria Kiasi, Asuwa Kiray Te Dilawaro. Irani Ha Maria Kiasi, Asuwa Kiray Te Dilawaro. Yeah, see. 